Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new tutorial. I've gotten this request a lot. Like a lot of you really, really wanted this request. You guys are trying to figure out how to get maps inside of Cinema 4D instead of, you know, trying to build your own maps and stuff like that because it's a little more time consuming. Well, today, look no further because I will teach you guys how to bring your own maps into Cinema 4D so you know you can you can have a nice looking scene when you're doing your uh, your work here. A lot of you may know that I do do a lot of tutorials and stuff like that from Photoshop to Cinema 4D to how to do poses, text, so on and so forth. Um, you guys have been, you know, requesting a lot of tutorials. You guys have been liking it a lot. So I'm going to bring you guys more tutorials every time I figure out something uh, new or whatever somebody wants to demand I will release a new tutorial for you guys to check out if you guys are new to this channel Make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I do post uh, se Semi weekly content I post gameplay tutorials speed art so on and so forth So yeah, if you guys are inter interested in that make sure you do hit the subscribe button the first thing we're gonna do is First you're gonna go and download mine ways. This is an app um, that you have to download to get, you know, the, the maps and stuff inside of Cinema 4D. But, you know, you don't worry about going and try to find the right website. I'll have the link in the description. It'll save you guys two, one to two steps, actually. And then whenever you get to the website, it'll say download for Windows or Mac, whichever one you have. Just download for either or. All right, so after that, you're going to want to go to YouTube and get yourself a map. So we're just going to go ahead and put, like, Hypixel Skywars maps. And then you could go to this first link right here. It's pretty much the most popular one. Click on the video. And then after that, yeah, just pause that. After that, go to the description. He's got all the maps here. Choose whatever map you want and yeah just download it and then move on from there thirdly you're gonna want to go and launch your mindways uh application make sure it's up running good stuff like that and then you're gonna want to go down here to the search bar and put percent app data oh wait i messed that up percent app data uh percent just so you can get to your minecraft folder you go to dot minecraft you go to saves and then you take the map that you just downloaded and put it inside your saves folder you know how you get maps stuff like that you put it in the saves folder you extract it you get your map in there so on and so forth and then you are done with that part once you're finished with that, you're going to want to close out of your Mineways, launch Mineways again, just so you can refresh the app so you can have the map. And then you're going to want to go to File, Open World, and then you just look for the map that you literally just imported, and you click on it. So we're going to do Hollow, and once you get your map here, you're going to want to... Uh, get the specific part that you want or you can just get the whole map it doesn't matter but usually for sky war thumbnails and stuff i usually just get like this little section just like a the island or if you want to get the main section you can you know highlight and to get this little purple box you just hold right click and drag and then after you do that uh you just let go of right click and then this little thing will pop up don't worry about this just click yes it'll pretty much it's pretty much just saying do you want to get the whole entire you know island or whatever do you want to get all the blocks within this region so you're just going to click yes then after that you're going to want to go to file then go to export for rendering and then we're just going to say we're going to call it hollow 2.0 and then oh 2.2.0 no 2.0 we're gonna put uh that and then you know you're gonna want to click save once you get done saving that it'll you know load and stuff like that once you're done with that you're gonna want to open up your cinema 4d go to where you saved your um your map and then you're going to want to well for in our instance it was hollow so you're gonna want to drag the obj so the objective file or object file into cinema 4d and then click ok so you're gonna get this little you know little thing right oh this is actually a better words map that's right <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's actually pretty funny i thought it was a sky wars map but uh yeah you're running to get your map or whatever um and it's gonna look a little ugly at first but don't worry uh go down here to all of the textures click the first one hold shift go down to the last texture and click left click then you're going to want to go to the right hand side over here you see where it says texture multiple values and then the three dots you click the three dots that'll open up we're going to go and type up the map name again and then go you're going to first want to do the hollow rb rgb or whatever the map name is but just do the rgb first double click it go down to the sampling click on it and then click on none then go to basic click on the basic uh tab go to alpha and once you click on alpha, you go to the alpha tab, go to the three dots underneath texture, you know, go back and type your uh, map name in again, 
And then this time click the RGBA and then do that. Then go back down here to sampling, click that, click on none. And you pretty much have your map ready to go. It's pretty easy if you think about it in order to get, you know, maps and all this other stuff inside of Cinema 4D. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do leave a like on the video. Make sure you do share if you guys are new to this channel. Uh, click the subscribe button. Put on post notifications because I do post weekly. Hopefully weekly. Sometimes two weeks. Sometimes one week. I have college and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, just so make sure you do put on post notifications on so you don't miss a video here on the channel. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.